Kids are back in school. Uh, sports are starting up again. Yeah, they are. Concussion awareness is greater than it's ever been. It has been, yeah. Right? And for parents of athletes, there's always the fear of injury. And these days, concussions are especially scary. Dr. Jonathan Lipschitz is the director of Translational Neurotrauma Research, a program there, a joint venture at Barrow Neurological Institute at Phoenix Children's Hospital, Department of Child Health at the University of Arizona College of Medicine, Phoenix and the Phoenix Veterans Affairs Healthcare System. We want to That's get it mouthful. all in there. Yeah. Well, you got yeah. a whole thing going on. And I, first of all, I like your U of A tie. Thank you. That's excellent. <laughs> Taking my daughter there tomorrow. So we're much more aware of the long-term effects of concussions and even the short-term effects than we were just a few years ago. Tell us about that. Without a doubt. Uh, concussions are traumatic brain injuries, and those traumatic brain injuries result from a force being applied to the head. That force can be in a sudden acceleration and deceleration or actually a physical force of your head hitting something or your or something hitting your head and that starts a cascade of some changes inside your brain and those changes are going to make you feel different I mean mm -hmm. the same way as if you drink coffee and you feel the caffeine spark your brain but here you have a physical change to the brain that's going to start some downstream events and we just are looking for what those events are and how can we identify them and how specifically trained physicians and healthcare providers who have a knowledge in concussion can then advise the uh, injured individual and their family to recover in a healthy manner. And when we hear about concussion, we automatically go to football injuries. Automatically we think about that usually. Uh, but what are some of the myths? You said there are lots of other sports and you said anybody really is susceptible to a concussion. I did. Uh, we are actually grateful to football for raising the awareness to concussion and then that allows us to start the conversation but we can then extend the conversation to any other sport recreational or uh, organized sport uh, as well as activities of daily living as we call them. my young kids ride their bicycles in the street they could fall and hit their head uh, they could be tripped up by the dog and when they're walking the dog so concussions can arise at any point the main thing is that we don't dismiss them, that we seek knowledgeable care. Uh, concussions are an, an exceptionally fast evolving field. There's research coming out every day, and so you want to seek a health care provider that is reading the literature, talking to scientists and their colleagues, so that they get the best information and can advise the patients and the families to the best of their ability. So uh, let's say take an adult or maybe even a child, you, you bump your head, not every time you bump your head it's a concussion, but when do you, or maybe it is, I mean, when do you think that it's serious enough that maybe you should step back or do something? It is true. I mean, many times we think about, oh, I bumped my head, do I really mm -hmm. want to go to the emergency room and spend six hours and then yeah. feel better? And uh, one of the challenges with concussion is that most of them recover on their own. Uh, but when you are not recovering according to the, uh, the way in which you anticipate, if you all of a sudden go for a run and your knees are hurting, it's expected, but you expect it to go away after about 48 hours. If you bump your head and you're still not feeling right, you need to seek some care. At least uh, get an evaluation of how you're doing today or whatever day it happens to be, so that a week later the physician can say either you're getting better or you're not getting better. And if you're not getting better, then a change in treatment is needed. And real quick, just a couple of the symptoms people should be looking for. So some of the symptoms uh, fall into three different categories. They're cognitive symptoms, meaning a uh, inability to think or organize your thoughts. Mm -hmm. They could be emotional or affective symptoms, meaning you're feeling happy, sad, moody, anger, depression. Or they could be somatic, meaning of the body, meaning you're having trouble moving or sensation, your eyes aren't working, your ears aren't working. So any of those domains in any combination can indicate that you have enduring symptoms of concussion. Mm -hmm. well, great Doctor, in, thank great you insight. For, yeah, thank you for your work on this and uh, your work in our community. Appreciate Very it. Very grateful for having you. me this morning. Thank right, you. It's a pleasure. All right, yeah, we'll get you back on. Yeah, it's an important topic. Absolutely. Right? You know we'll be talking about it more during football season. Mm -hmm.